Good morning everyone and welcome back to another weekly vlog. This is my fourth weekly vlog in Australia and I'm actually starting this one off in a brand new place and I am currently in Ellie Beach. As you can see, I'm at my favourite place right now. I'm at McDonald's. It is really early. It is Saturday the 26th of November at 8.36 in the morning. And I've just come out to get some breakfast because me, Haz and Byron are actually going on a scenic flight this morning. I'm so excited. It's all going to be over the Great Barrier Reef and then Jazz and So do theirs tomorrow. We wanted to all do it together, but apparently the plane wasn't big enough to send us all up in one go. So we're just doing it over two days instead. I have a lot to update you guys on. Like, a lot, a lot. I haven't vlogged for, like, three days for multiple reasons and I think when I get back from the scenic flight I'm gonna sit down I'm gonna have a really deep chat and a very honest chat about kind of how I've been feeling how everyone's been feeling the general mood and just my opinion on like traveling so far however first of all have come to McDonald's to get some breakfast and this is my first time trying McDonald's breakfast in Australia Mm, it tastes very different to the UK. I know why. It's got chicken salt on it. They put chicken salt on everything here in Australia. And this muffin has got chicken salt on it. Mmm, that's really good. But I still feel like I prefer the UK. Hash brown. I have actually tried one of these here already. It is in my McDonald's video that went up on Wednesday. The hash browns here are so much better. They're so much saltier. Saltier and less greasy. I'm going to sit in my breakfast. Hasn't buy and I've actually just gone to Subway over the road. And then we're going to get the bus to the flight terminal. I think it's a flight terminal anyway. I don't really know where we're going. But I'm really excited. I've, I've tried not to Google pictures. I've seen pictures of been walking up and down the street but i try not to google what we're actually gonna see but i think it's probably gonna be the most beautiful thing i've ever seen in my life but i can't believe we're actually about to fly over the great barrier reef anyway i'm gonna eat my breakfast and then we'll get the bus we've just arrived at the airport and the planes are tiny they're exactly like the planes that we got when we went skydiving i'm so excited we've been told as well that we have a headset on so the pilot can talk to us and kind of tell us a little bit about what we're seeing because we want to try and spot the heart reef but we've been told it's only 15 meters and when you're in a plane that's obviously gonna look tiny but yeah these are the planes that we're about to get in God, that was, I know I say it's about a lot of things, but genuinely the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Flying over the Great Barrier Reef, we literally saw, so I actually thought they were stingrays, but we found out after, we saw manta rays, and you can actually see them, like because we got like lower as we went to the Great Barrier Reef, you can see them floating in the water, and they look so big from the plains, and they're like, I mean, God knows how big they actually are. It was incredible, the bluest water I've ever seen. It doesn't even look real, like I've got pictures on my phone, and obviously all the footage and stuff, but it just doesn't do it justice how beautiful it actually is. If you guys are staying in Airlie, I would definitely, definitely recommend doing a scenic flight. You're up there for about an hour. You fly all over the Whitsunday Islands and then you fly out to the reef and then back in. And it was incredible. So I'll pop on the company on screen, their app that we did the tour with. Like I said to you guys earlier, I just wanted to do a bit of an update on how the traveling is going because like I said, I didn't vlog for three days and you might be able to hear it in my voice. But again, I got really, really sick. My body doesn't really do very well with a lot of traveling and a lot of change and as much as I love change my body doesn't really and again I had a really bad cold a really bad headache lost my voice again I still feel like I'm kind of losing it the runniest nose ever it was just awful and I had it on the 14 hour overnight bus and I was like oh my god like what a place to get it when I can't really sleep it off so I didn't vlog the last day in Fraser Island and then we had one more day in Rainbow Beach I did see the rainbow steps which I will overlay here which was amazing I'm so glad I got to see that and then we sat on the 
beach for a bit. Then we had the overnight bus. We arrived here yesterday and then I started vlogging today. But yesterday I was so tired. I literally went to sleep at like eight o'clock, woke up at seven o'clock this morning and I feel better for having that much sleep. But I feel like maybe it is spoken about, I don't really know. But traveling, as amazing as it is and as amazing as the whole experience is, it is so tiring. And the thing is, I've been trying to force myself to do everything and go out every day because I'm like, I'm here once, like I've got to go and do it. But also I have to listen to my body and my body is saying like, Anastasia, slow down, like just have a day off. And I think I have to remember that like six weeks traveling and changing around and carrying the backpacks and having different food and different lifestyle and everything is, it can take a toll on you as it has me physically. And I've just got to remember that I need to kind of listen to my body first. And if I need a rest day, if I, like if I don't want to go out one night, I can just stay in the dorm. As amazing as the whole experience has been, and I'm still loving it. It's, it's the best thing I've ever done in my life. And I can't wait to tell you guys, you know, my proper like thoughts on it at the end of the six weeks. But just to let you know, if you are traveling and you do have a couple of down days, that's very normal. Like you have times where you're going to miss home and you're going to miss your family and you're going to miss people back home. And just the normal like home comforts of your own bed and a shower and everything like that. It is very, very normal to miss that. And it's okay to have a couple of down days whilst you're doing all the amazing things because you experience so many highs and lows in the same day that that can sometimes kind of throw you off a bit but overall we're having the best time I just can't wait to start to feel better because right now I just feel so like groggy and bunged up but we actually have the rest of the day free today so we are going to head into the town we're going to go for some nice food and then there's like a man-made lagoon again a little bit like the one in Brisbane so I think we're going to head there and we're going to go for a swim because it is hot but it's like a muggy hot day there's no breeze it's just like warm we have arrived at early beach lagoon it's so fun lagoon the lagoon it's so fun having like a man-made pool on the beach this is the exact thing they had in brisbane we don't know where our friends are friends have saved us a spot there's a lot of people here flavors of ice cream they've got rainbow ice cream Aussie vanilla cookies and cream cake batter oh my god I think I'm gonna get the cake batter one Ferrero oh wow you can mix in any of these different chocolates they also have a honeycomb one I've got crunchy so I'm gonna get crunchy Mars bar and flake and they do it a bit like a pan and ice but mix it into the ice cream We just came to Woolworths to do our weekly shop, and it is in fact shut. <laughs> this is where Soph will be the whole night now. I'm waiting for the noise. We are now back from, I was gonna say the beach, but it isn't actually the beach. We're back from the lagoon, and we originally did plan on cooking dinner tonight. However, that didn't work out because we all came back. I fell asleep, I don't really know how long for. It felt like I napped for like two hours, but in reality, I think it was about 20 minutes. And we're gonna go to the shop, and then it shut at 6 p.m., and we got there at like half seven. So we were like, okay, we can't cook now because there's nowhere to like buy food to cook. So we went to a Chinese, that was really nice, but then I popped into the little corner shop, and I picked up some snacks because we're gonna have a little movie night in bed. Last night, I was watching, Oh, what was it? Bad Mums Christmas. Um, I want to try and watch like Christmas films to get me in the Christmas spirit. So I think I'm going to finish that. And then I have been watching, well, I say I've been watching. I've watched half of the first episode of Manifest on Netflix. It's really, really good. I'm really enjoying that. So I might watch another episode of that. But I got some snacks. I got a chicken pot noodle, which to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to have. I might save that for tomorrow. But I got some Haribo Bella sticks. Haribo! I knew, I it's knew. Haribo. It's not, it's Haribo. It's Haribo. It's Haribo. It's Haribo, just Dorito, Doritos. It's, it's Haribo. Haribo bears. Haribo. It's Haribo. It's Haribo. <laughs> It's not you a green Yeah, Doritos. Haribo. You said Doritos. I said Doritos no, and Haribo. Doritos. It's not got double O though. Oh my god, I know. Doritos. Haribos. <laughs> and Haribo. Haribo. I've all, I, how do you say Mawam? What? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Mawam! Not Mawam. 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 Oh, you're making me Why do you, why do you Haribo. My mum always has. She goes Doritos. I knew you were going to say that. Haribos. How do you Haribo. say it? Haribo. 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 Is there anything else that you said? It's the world I don't think lovely, so. so. The lovely world of Haribo. Yeah. It's in the advert. Oh, it's like the lovely world of Haribo. Right, well, I've got some Haribos. Haribos, yeah. I've got some Haribos. And I can say this one. I've got some Milky Bars. Um, and it's cute, sure actually. A little bag. Bear. I've got some Milky Bears. And I'm going to sit in bed and I'm going to eat these. Now I've learned how to say it properly. Haribo. There's something else yeah. that you've said. Yeah, Haribo. Yeah, Doritos. No, no. Because no. every time I say it, Callum goes, Doritos. you can't 
Yorkshire. Don't say it like that. Yorkshire. It's something at Yorkshire. Oh, Yorkshire. Uh, Worcestershire. I say Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Yeah, but Yorkshire is not that weird to say. I'm like, what did you want from me? Quite a lot of other people Yorkshire. say Yorkshire. Yorkshire. I don't say Yorkshire. I say Yorkshire. So a lot of people do say Yorkshire. Do you want a Yorkshire with your Christmas dinner? Yorkshire, I call it. Oh, but I say Yorkshire. Just, that's just dialect. Anyway, comment down below how you guys say it. Good morning, everyone. It is now the next day. I am currently out for breakfast with Haz. We've come to the same place that we came to on the first day. However, I wasn't vlogging. I don't actually know what it's called. But oh sidewalk cafe the menu is so so nice on the first day i had french toast with strawberries and bananas and i got a side of scrambled egg but the side of scrambled egg was so big so this time i'm just going to get scrambled egg on toast byron is currently in the shop to find some flip flops and jazz and so have actually gone to do their scenic flight this morning we didn't really want to speak about it too much yesterday because none of us had googled any of the pictures or anything so none of us knew what to expect and obviously we came back and we've seen so many amazing things we wanted to be like oh my god we've seen this but we didn't want to spoil it for them so when they get back we finally have a debrief and show each other the pictures and show each other like what we saw. Today we are having a super chill day. We're going to go back to the lagoon today. The lagoon is so so nice because we were going to go to the beach but it's quite rocky so we prefer to go to the lagoon again. So we're going to get some food and go to the lagoon. Fingers crossed to try and get a tan. I have two weeks left now to try and tan to put the pressure on. We're going to slightly brown but still not really especially compared to Soph who is like got a perfect perfect tan. Anyway I'm now going to go order my breakfast and I will show you what I get. Guys I got the almond butter smoothie. I mean I'm obsessed with sweet potato have been out here. I'm gonna get a banana one all the time though, but this old one. And breakfast is here. I got a scrambled egg on toast and has got a scrambled egg on toast but with truffle. Kinda wish I got the out, it looks so good. We have come shopping in City Beach. Not that I need to buy any more stuff, but we have got our Whit Sundays trip and we've got to wear white. Have a white dress, but I don't have any white trousers and I found these and I've wanted some of these the whole trip. Now we've got two weeks left. I'm like, do I do it? Do fair, we'll wear these at home and I'll take them on other holidays, but they're so so nice. Also, City Beach is everywhere in Australia and they have the most amazing bikinis. I'm like, do I bite the bullet and get a different colour bikini because all I have is a white one, a brown one and a black one and I would love like a nice brightly coloured one. Something is edging me towards either the blue or the green. So I don't know which one to get. Well, shopping lasted all of two minutes. I didn't actually end up buying anything, but Byron did buy some new white trousers, which means I can have his old white trousers for the rest of the trip. I just want to take my shirt off, but I don't want to get one. Oh, sorry. We are now at the lagoon. We're just going to spend the rest of the day here, I think, because it's so, so hot today. Yes, I was a bit cloudy, but today it's just pure sun. So we're going to stay here to probably get some food. There's a really nice restaurant called the Treehouse over there, which I'd like to go to. Um, and we're just waiting for Jazz and Soap to get here. Guys, Byron has been giving us some lessons because well, as you know, me though. and her have a prayer of the water and we've like going underwater yeah, and I was like, I need to conquer my fear whilst I'm here. So I've been under the water, it took me a while but I've managed to sit on the bottom of the water and by the end of the day I'm going to try and swim underwater. Whether it just that's depends actually going to happen or not, um, I don't know. Like um, but yeah, just some lessons with Byron. Guys, post swimming lesson. We have come for lunch. We are at the deck restaurant and bar. I just ordered a black truffle cheeseburger with chips and a coke. Guys, I'm so proud of myself for even opening my eyes in the water. I'm terrified of doing it. And I feel like <clears throat> on this trip, I've been just like holding all my fears and I love it. Ready? Yay! <laughs> now down. So Come in. <laughs> Stay there. Stay there. <laughs> oh, they're cute. <laughs> oh yes! my God, Will. I thought you were going to expect that. What, what are we today? filming today, guys? <laughs> Welcome back to a brand new day. Acrobatics. Okay, ready? Up. Up. 
<laughs> this is Will, by the way, guys. Hello, welcome to a brand new day. It is that time where we are doing our weekly food shop again. I'm so excited, but this time we're doing it in Woolworths. We are actually going to cook a chicken pesto pasta tonight. So this basket is just the snacks. This is my section, the dips. I've had the French onion one two times in a row now, which is up there. So I want to change it up. I might just get a hummus. Oh, they're French onion hummus. I'm going to get that. For my breakfast this time, I've gone for these caramel brownie protein bars. I wanted the white chocolate ones, but they don't have any. So I got these and they look really good. All of the ice cream here looks insane. But I'm not going to buy them because I just don't need them. But those drumstick ones, oh my gosh. And they have maxi bonds up there as well. <gasps> Do they have the waffle one? Oh my God, they have... <gasps> you oh, are kidding me. These. They've got the waffle ones. No, but I've got to get them. Which ones? The Golden Gay Time? Yeah, they're so nice. No, these. Oh my God. Oh my God, they've got Golden Gay Time bites. Right, I said I wasn't buying them, but I'm sorry. These are the best thing since sliced bread. I have never tried a better ice cream than this. And we do have a freezer in the hostel, so. Oh my God, this has literally made my day. I've just come outside and there's a little doggy on the bench. Hi, baby. Oh, I love dogs. I want one so bad. We are now back from the food shop. I didn't realize how sunburned my face was. I was putting sun cream on all day, but the sun was so strong. I've got nice little like red marks all around here. So hopefully in the morning, that would have gone down however my tan lines from today kind of looks a bit red on camera but it is very brown in real life so i'm very happy about that but we are back jazz and Sophie have actually been designated cooks tonight which is exciting they're cooking some sort of chicken pesto pasta i don't really know what they're cooking us but i'm very excited so they've just gone downstairs to the kitchen now and i am sat watching manifest i've got six minutes left of the first episode and it's so good there's four seasons i feel like i've now found a new series i'm actually going to get hooked on because for ages i haven't watched a series or anything like that i always just rewatch the same ones because I can't be bothered to start a new one and then I don't know but finally I found one so I definitely recommend it it's on Netflix just in case you're wondering what this kitchen looks like you've got a head chef Jasmine Clough over there and then you've got all of the utensils sink and everything and then you've got the little island bit in the middle here chopped up some cheese and some oh taste this and then you've got all of the fridges and stuff here I have just put in a rogue can of coke you have to bag everything up and label it but just while we're cooking in the kitchen I put my can of coke there to keep it cold and then at the back here you've got all of the cookers well not ovens but the hobs morning everyone welcome back to day three of this vlog so we have a little bit of a change of plan today we were actually meant to go jet skiing and then we just got to the place to check in but the guy said it's not safe to go today apparently there's some sort of storm on the way not a bad storm just like a couple of hour one when we were due to go out on the jet skis he was like i don't want to take you guys out it's not going to be as safe as it should be so we've actually rebooked in for tomorrow morning but we're going tomorrow morning at 8 a.m and we're going to play bingo tonight so we were planning on getting drunk however don't think i will be drinking as much as i planned if i've got to get up at six to go jet ski today now we're gonna have a really chill day again because we're going on the witty sundays we want to have a chill couple of days before because the witty sundays is going to be quite a lot it's going to be quite heavy drinking as well i'm going to go get my nails done if you know the pain of breaking an acrylic nail this is what has happened what's and it's happened on my other hand as well i, um, so and it's, 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 I know i just thought so that rude. if you know the pain but let me just do that but i snapped it off i know it's kind of like yeah like all the flesh is like died underneath i had a plaster on it for like two days and i was like no i need to go get my nails done so me and jazz are going to go get our nails done i mean Mine um, fucking atrocious. Have you even got acrylics? No, I've got these natural hairs, just gel. I mean, yours are long. When my nails come off, well, when my acrylics come off, my nails are going to be nothing underneath. I've had these on for like five weeks. So we're going to go get new nails, but first of all, we're going to get some ice cream, go to the lagoon, go get our nails done, back to the lagoon, and just try and tan today, basically. We're back at our favourite ice cream place in Early Beach. These are all the flavours that I didn't get the other day. I was going to say yesterday, but it was the day before. These look amazing. Fruits of the forest sorbet, blood orange. However, today I think I'm going to go for white chocolate and I'm going to put honeycomb pieces in it because I put Mars bar in it last time which was nice. I thought like the honeycomb was so much nicer. These are the before of my nails. I cannot believe how long these have lasted. Look how grown out they are. Um, and I'll show you my nails once I've got them done. Jazz and I now have the uh, hardest decision to make ever. But what colour to get on our nails? I don't know whether to go simple and just get white and then I've got all of these colours or this one looks a bit like me. I'll try to just get French too. Oh, That's what I'm gonna say. that is very true. I think I'm going to get white. We 
just got back. I was all in bed. I had my headphones in. I was watching Manifest. I was in the zone. Next thing you know, I hear everyone scream. please don't do that. Right, some of the people screaming, and there's a massive cockroach that has come into our room. There's a baby one too, but the massive one was like, it runs really fast. It was crawling into all of our stuff, and they just randomly fly as well. So that was a good end to the evening. I've got tissue. But that other one, oh, it hurts. It hurts. Oh, my back, guys. Oh, yeah, being laid in bed yeah, with the cockroach. Yeah, it's making me feel sick. Uh, it's there. Byron, if you open the door, it might crawl out the door. Does this mean that there's going to be Guys. <laughs> oh! 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 Where's it gone? Byron, open the door and it might crawl out. It's not polite. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> oh. <gasps> it's actually really big. Oh, my God, it's massive. Can someone uh, take a picture of me with it? Look what do you want to look at? What do you want to <laughs> I don't know how well you're going to be able to hear me because we are on the beach right now um, but as you would have seen this morning we went jet skiing it was so much fun we just had to go so early and I was going to vlog beforehand but basically set our alarms for I think it was half six and we all slept through our alarms and then Jazz tapped us ten minutes before we had to get up and was like we've got ten minutes and I was like Sh so I had to run, put my bikini on, put sun cream on and get out the door. So it all looked a little bit worse for wear when we were first on the jet skis. But then we went jet skiing, it was so much fun. And when we were jet skiing, me and Haz spotted this little prize. Like we thought it was a prize at beach. But they're the most amazing houses with this kind of like beach in front oh of God, it. Me. There's a seagull that it keeps... Yawned. It yawned, mouth is massive. It's like edging towards us because it definitely wants our subway, but you can't have it. We spotted this little beach with like these, am well, when I mean amazing houses, I mean like insane mansions. There's one of them behind me. And we were like, oh my god, I wish we could go on that beach. And then we just come for a walk. And turns out it's a public beach. And there's like a little, because you can't swim in the sea here without a stinger suit really, because it's lots of like jellyfish. But there's like a big net where they've put out where you can actually swim in without a stinger suit. So we're going to go in there, we're going to have a little swim. And then we actually go on the Whit Sunday boat tomorrow. So we need to buy all of our snacks, buy our alcohol. And and then, yeah, this is the last day of the vlog because the Whit Sunday is going to be a whole separate vlog. But we're going to chill in the sea for a bit, which is so nice because it's muggy. Like, it's been very muggy warm here. Even though it's only like 27 degrees, it feels like it should be like 33 or 34. Here's the beach. and Here's our little friend that keeps getting closer and closer. He was like all the way over here. Every now time he's suddenly... we talk about him, he walks away. It's like he knows. He knows. He's like, yeah, look, oh, it's like he knows. Let's go. Oh, bye then. And these are some of the houses that we spotted on the way up. This one is my favourite here. That's why we come and sat in front of it. It is literally insane. Paz and I just went out for dinner, then decided to take a little walk, and we have just discovered a whole part of Bailey Beach that we hadn't been to in the last four days. And it's beautiful. We just missed the sunset. Oh my gosh, this little beach down here, so pretty. Mm -hmm. 